Hello everybody, today uh, I would like to show you a demonstration uh, how to read the ultrasonic sensor um, the time, uh, the pulse, pulse width and then uh, once you get the pulse width sent back from the ultrasonic sensor you can, you can convert it to the exactly distance in between the object and your ultrasonic sensor so um, here uh, is the some decoration and I use the uh, interrupt handler number 6 this is the uh, timer 1 counter 1 the interrupt uh, I will use the 7 semi LED display here and uh, this uh, routine is the scanning uh, program um, I will light on uh, each 7 semi LED in a short period and then the data will send to each LED and show the result. Because uh, on my evaluation board, the LCD output pin uh, has overlapped with the ICP1. This ICP1 pin I will use to measure the rising edge and falling edge. So uh, then I change to use the LED to avoid the overlapping. So. Uh, I give the name of the interrupt is TikTok. Uh, so when the pulse come in, then will be the first will be the rising edge trigger, and once the rising edge trigger was um, received, then we we'll start the timer, and then can the um, the timer will starting, and then uh, when you receive the falling edge, the timer will be stop. Uh, the content will be the exactly the time traveling of the sound, what you measure. So uh, this is the initialization of the port A and port D. Port D we just only use the PD6 and PD7. PD7 we will send, uh, use this pin to send the trigger signal to the ultrasonic sensor. And PD6 is ICP1. So uh, some initialization here to clear this uh, 16 pin register and then um, to enable the rising edge trigger uh, of the TCC R1 beat the uh, beat number beat number 5 beat 5 so uh, you can refer to the menu uh, what's uh, each beat the uh, purpose and also the application so um, also you you have to uh, enable the overall interrupt here and also the TC1 pins interrupt here uh, time masking, uh, T1 masking and also interrupt masking and SREG oh, this is uh, very simple to send a pulse here and short duration and then uh, go back to the beginning status this will give a uh, very short time duration uh, pulse to the ultrasonic sensor and then we'll go, uh, next step will give a delay uh, in between these uh, two lines, the interrupt will be happen, and um, a signal, uh, uh, I would say a pulse, will be sent from the ultrasonic sensor to the chips, and the time duration, what you measure, is uh, just uh, what you get the exactly distance between the sensor, ultrasonic sensor, and your object. Yeah, here again, start timer, and then stop the timer and uh, get the low byte and high byte and then some conversion and then these uh, two data will be uh, changed to exact uh, the distance and then we will show on the display and of course you should remember to stop the timer here and also uh, change the trigger to rising edge again and run equal to zero then means that next time the interrupt was triggered will execute this part. So you have the high byte and low byte, time this figure and this is the offset, you will get the uh, the distance from the sensor to your object. And then go to the display this routine to show the data and then we set the T C N T one this uh, two register and uh, wait for the next cycle. So some I try to compile it.
Okay, it's done. I already download the data to the evaluation bot, and then um, uh, in this uh, experiment, I use an external power supply because this uh, ultrasonic sensor is uh, quite power consuming. So um, the power supply from the USB is not good enough to let the uh, ultrasonic sensor work properly. So here, let's see. Twenty. Out. Oh. Ten. Ten. Five. So uh, the offset, uh, you can see this is twenty-five. This is thirty because uh, this off offset uh, starting point is uh, twenty. So you can see twenty. Fifteen, ten, and five, and even this close one cm. So uh, this proof uh, the program and also the the programming is correct. And also, uh, I hope this can uh, show you uh, how easy to use the ICP one. Uh, to get the ultrasonic sensor uh, post time measurement in this experiment. Thank you.